Hello. All right, so I am just packing up my stuff. It is raining outside and it's rained all day. Um, good morning, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get anyone else to come with me today because it's been raining straight for like 12 hours. Uh, but I'm gonna check out if Grateful Dead is dry or not. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna get really wet, but I'm excited. Solo mission. Solo mission. I just hiked up to the bowler and it's not looking very good. I mean, you can hear the rain. And it's rained like this for like 12 hours straight, at least. I woke up with the rain and I've just been waiting to get out of the car, hoping that it would stop enough so that I could walk up without getting wet. But that did not happen. Like everything is wet. And the bowler is looking pretty wet as well. I mean, I was expecting that it would be wet, but um, I thought that I would just go up and see how it looked like. Holes in the beginning are dry, so I guess I could like try some of the moves. But um, this undercling right here that was a little bit wet last time, that is like really wet now. It's actually dripping. Hey there, little guy. Are you gonna spot me? I gotta change to shorts because my pants are completely wet. I'm gonna do a magic trick though. Better. The holes are wet. I think it's important to like always really try even though you don't feel like it like now I really don't feel like trying this but uh, once I get started I might feel different about it that is wet I've just uh, tried some of the moves and it's not like completely wet, but it's pretty wet. And uh, my shoes get really wet. And the crash pad is wet. It's a really gray day. I hate gray days. Like when I touch this hold. Touch it. And then you see the water. It's like all the holes, it doesn't look that wet, but behind here there's like wetness. Ah, oh, the way down here and up to this guy. From down here and all the way to this guy. Well, this clip was really bright. I should have adjusted the aperture, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> now I'm using words that I don't know what means. Uh, aperture. Down, down. There we go. I have no idea what that actually does, the aperture, but by turning it down, it's less bright, so I guess it worked, because that was really bright and pale. I am pale, but not that pale. Oh, so 
since the upper part is wet, maybe I should just try this bottom part like a hundred times just for the training, for the fun of it. Maybe I should see how long I can hang in that one position. I wonder. I wonder how. I wonder why. Yesterday. Oh, this guy. And oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm so glad I got out of that restaurant. That was heinous. I was sitting in like a gas station and uh, because they had Wi-Fi, decent Wi-Fi, so I uploaded uh, the vlog the number 51 and uh, I was sitting there for probably like three, four hours because it took that long. And I had a lot of coffees. I had a uh, sweet potato french fries and uh, yeah, got some funny looks because I was sitting there for so long. So the people working there probably didn't like me very much. But I don't care. I don't care. What are we gonna do today? Question is, should I drive? Get away. Mosquitoes everywhere. Question is, should I drive to Lucifuelen where I'll be climbing the big wall with Martin. Or should I stay here? Because I don't want to keep driving back and forth. Kind of a long drive. I want to do this bowler problem. But if it rains, I can't do the bowler problem. But then again, if it rains, I can't do anything. Oh, this is so complicated. We're ready to leave. And I have to put on like the wettest pants in the history of wet pants. Oh my god. So, so nasty. I only brought one pair of shoes. Which was kind of stupid because I have more shoes obviously. Okay. Oh, wet sock. Wet sock. Sometimes it's pretty miserable, but even when it's miserable like this, you know, it's, it's kind of nice. Just, uh, I don't know, you feel so much better if you just do something, like get outside and, well, I'm not going to claim that I've done that much today, but I've hiked for like 20 minutes up here in the rain. Uh, I got a little bit lost, I have to admit, and also I was afraid of the... There are a lot of big cows down there and Tula told me that one of the cows can be a little bit aggressive. So I chose a path like around the cows and that took a lot longer. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't like cows that much. Um, so I, I was like all up there and like battled my way through the wet grass and the wet trees. And every time you like come near a tree it starts like the, the water from the trees are, you know, just one of those days. I'm gonna wrap it up and then I'm gonna get down to the car and, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I think I've figured out what to do because, uh, when I was bothering with Ture, he mentioned that he has a cabin up on the mountain and, uh, he actually offered me to stay there for a night or I mean he didn't really mention how many nights but I just assume that it's one night so I'm gonna head up to the cabin to his cabin now and because uh, I'm getting pretty tired of that camping life like when it's raining it's pretty miserable so if I have a, a option and I do have an option right now I will take it so thank you to uh, looking for the cabin and I'm not completely sure where it is but I think it is here I mean I hope so because it 
it's gonna be embarrassing if it's not to walk into someone else's cabin. You can see that one. I wonder if that's the cabin or if it's that one. That or that. That or that. River and then it's this cabin, so it's probably the one up there. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, there's some trees there. There's some three trees there as well. Focus. Yeah. And there's a river. And there's a river outside as well. So you're supposed to cross the river and then go up here. I just parked my car. See? And I am getting ready to check out the cabin. I just brought a little bit of stuff and uh, why is the camera having a hard time focusing? Hello. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is the view. It's really nice. And there's even like a waterfall. Can't wait to see uh, the cabin that he said he built it with a friend. So he built this cabin with his own hands. It's pretty impressive. Good thing that uh, I don't believe in ghosts. Otherwise I might have gotten scared. Staying up here by myself. See it? That must be it. Here it is. Ah, so hard to do everything with the vlogging. You have to do it with one hand. But yeah, I'm gonna lock it afterwards. Hopefully no cows will come in. Meanwhile, hopefully there's no one else here. And I'm inside. I'll leave my stuff here. Wow, this is nice. It's like so cozy. I'm just in my underwear. The stuff is drying. There's no electricity and there's no water here. So I don't, I guess this will be the third day without showering, but that's fine. We're used to that. Got some food, bread, oats, nuts, salad, and then an oat drink. And uh, some water, some different stuff. So I'm just gonna eat now to show you before I eat. So like this is the sofa. Kitchen. Um, the camera died as I was gonna show you the cabin. But um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a rainy day. <laughs> Not a good day, but a rainy day. And I feel like I've talked a lot. This vlog might just uh, make me seem crazy, but hopefully I'll be able to edit it in a nice way so that it seems okay. <laughs>